1245 Central Time. We need to do that. Cody, um, go ahead. We have a in. circulation in Stewart County. Okay, Stewart, let's go to Stewart. No we, tornado warning on it. Okay, but, but it Cody is. Nichols has been uh, two for two tonight, so let's go to Cody. I'm going to take Cody's word on this one. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, that Carmen's right on that one here. Yeah, it, you're it right on the It looks better off of the Maxwell radar. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Maxwell oh. looks good. Yeah, stick on Maxwell. Yeah, right there. Yeah, and Cody's picking up circulation. Okay. Omaha, you're okay. Florence Bay Marina, Chattahoochee River here, you're okay. But we're looking at, um, yeah, here a little bit off to the east, Carmen. It's moving kind of fast. It was more yeah, east here. Radar. Yeah, the radar just keeps messing you up there. I'm oh, sorry. Just uncheck. Yeah, let's uncheck the radars. Let's just, yeah, I said, let's just get a fort. Yeah, Fort Rucker is good. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is some circulation. Cody is right on that. Let's put it in motion for a second, too, Carmen. Sorry about that. I hate being like a bossy boss here. Here it is. Let me just see. South of Omaha, you can see that. And it's just to the south right here. There's 27, still farther off. We're in Stewart County right now. If you're in Omaha, you're okay. If you're in Florence, you're okay, the, the marina area. Uh, southeast of Omaha, there could be some potential damage with this. We've got a thunderstorm here. Well, not too much thunder, actually. I don't, I don't, we have lightning data on, correct? Just Lumpkin's got some, I see a little thunder just in the last 30 minutes. I think that's 30 minute data, lightning. So I make sure I know what I'm talking about here. Okay, good. So uh, in the last three minutes, we had some thunder. We still got some thunder to sell uh, Lumpkin, but it's not associated with this, guys. Um, but there is some circulation with that. Now, here you go again. You don't, no thunderstorm, and there's circulation. There could be some strong damaging winds with this as a result. So if you're around Union, be mindful that any kind of weak tree limbs or anything like this with this particular portion of the line of storms, although there is no thunder with this right now, has a potential of some wind as it rotates, as Cody pointed out. Cody, go ahead, chime in here. I'm going to get some water here. Tell us what you think, and I'm going to go on my live stream for a second. Go ahead. You can pop on air. All right. So why don't you go in there and do your thing, my friend. You're doing a good job. All right, just uh, measured the pixel here on a off-camera product, and it's about 90 knots, as they said in the chat, right here on this. Uh, Could you break that down in miles per hour, too, because people got to know it, that's pretty. That's it, pretty. It's about um, 80, 85 miles per hour right here. These bright pixels right here, just to the east of Florence and just to the south of Omaha. This is that circulation that we were watching. It moved out of Russell County, and it's now into uh, Western portions of Stewart County. Uh, this is uh, Georgia 39 that goes up to Omaha, and this is Canyon Road. Uh, not sure if this is a populated area or not, but there is a circulation right here in uh, Stewart County. This is the where we have that couplet, and this is what uh, we are watching this very bright pixel and in indicating some rotation uh, with that. There we go, Carmen has it. You can see this is actually outbound and the lighter pixels are inbound because our radar is located in Maxwell Air Force Base in... Uh, Can I just, I didn't mean to interrupt you real quick, sorry about that. It's uh, Sanford Road, Ladonia area, uh, power outages and neighborhood watchers being reported, our producers are saying, wondering if that, from that tornado warning we had earlier... I saw was, several wind uh, reports or thunderstorm damage reports from Lee County. Okay. Uh, new event, tornado warning right now. Do we have a tornado warning? Yeah. Um, where do we got? Is that is that yep. our Stuart yeah, County? Right on what? Cody, issues. two for Way Cody. Go, Cody, Cody, <laughs> Cody forecasts this tornado before it What's even was the, on uh, there. What's so the expiration good job. time on it? Expiration two two thirty a.m. This includes the city of Lumpkin and Omaha. It's just to the south of actually the city of Omaha, but Lumpkin is located over here in the central portions yeah. of Stewart County, right off of uh, U.S. twenty seven there around Louval down to uh, Webster Lumpkin. County but too. this is that circular. Here, let Let's put a track here. on it, and uh, how fast is it moving? Let's put the... <clears throat> oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let Carmen grab yeah, that as I'm going here, and I could get it here as it look like... Um, it looks like it's moving east at 40 miles per hour. Yeah, so, we're getting reports of uh, tornado debris signature, too, possibly. So it is observed? Well, no one's just, seen it. This is just from... Uh, uh, somebody else indicated, indicated, radar indicated some at the moment, but yeah. this is a very intense rotation, especially when we see this high uh, pixel value here on our Doppler radar. And uh, we do have a tornado warning. Let's put a track on this yeah. and actually zoom out so we can get no, some, uh, Social some media the city term. of Lumpkin yes. in that. So okay. Here you go. Here's Lumpkin. Lumpkin is located in the center portion of Stewart County. And here's that track. And not many locations actually picking mm -hmm. up. Only uh, Lumpkin. And I don't see the time mm -hmm. on that. More, if we can yeah. get rid of that banner, it'd probably show up for us. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, actually yeah. includes Webster County as well. 
uh, in the city of Preston and Marion County. How is it only, does it go to Webster County? Is that the far reaches of it? Yeah, it's only well, it's only giving me Lumpkin here for. All right, how fast is it going? 207 currently? 207 for the city how of fast? Lumpkin, so you have uh, roughly yeah. that's uh, maybe 17 minutes for uh, Lumpkin, and it's right here, uh, just south of the Omaha area. Yeah, let me. What road is this? Right is this 280? That that can't be 280 from that one. Richland is also showing up at 219. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're, now we're doing some uh, social media oh, posting right. here on this. And so anywhere between Louisville, it, ha, ha, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, you're it, Lou, Louval, 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 Louval to Lumpkin yeah. is where our tornado warning is. So anywhere on this part of US 27 uh, between Lumpkin and Louisville, you need to be in your Louisville, tornado yeah. safe spot for this circulation that is just on the uh, western portions of Stewart County, moving off towards the east at about 40 miles per hour. So Richland, safe spot, Randall, safe spot, Brooklyn in your safe spot. And even if you're in Webster County in Preston, you need to be in your safe spot as well. You see times on these 208 for the city of Lumpkin, 215 for the city of Randall, and 219 for the city of Richland. So anybody in these communities need to be in your safe spot. Um, do we have any updated circulation? Yeah, let's get you here. Um, nothing, nothing right now. Um, well, just here we go. Can we can we get a new track? It just yep. updated. Yeah, the, yeah, just updated. Yeah, that. I just now did it. Yep. Let's uh, zoom in and get some street locations. Well, right now they're seeing now. Um, uh, yeah, as you just said, it was 82. The Maxwell was reporting that 82 knots outbound um, from the velocity. And uh, about nine miles west of Lumpkin, but it's still it's it's still about probably less than nine miles from that perspective as Co uh, Carmen has on there for you, Cody. All right, so here's that, a yeah. new track you can see yeah. from just to yeah, this edge this. of the circulation. So the city of Lumpkin, roughly around two o'clock in the morning. So it has sped up from our last data for that track that we just gave you earlier. So two o'clock for Lumpkin, two o six for the city of Randall, and two ten for the city of Richland, which is just on the eastern portions of Stewart County around the Webster County line. Here's that track. You can see it really spun up and had that really tight circulation. Kind of broad at the moment, not as bright, but we do see that inbound velocity right here, the outbound velocity right here, and that is approaching the city of Lumpkin. So if you're in Lumpkin on US 27 between uh, Louisville and Lumpkin, need to be in your safe uh, tornado safe place which is an interior room if you don't have a basement that is preferably the best place if not an interior room or a bathroom and this also includes extreme portions of Marion County as well if that because that probably tripped your uh, NOAA weather radio as well and yeah. woke you up in places like Buena Vista but you are not in the tornado warning this is extreme southern portions of Marion County and also northern portions of Preston around 280 that stretches back towards Plains and goes off towards Americas. But here's that circulation once again southeast of Omaha now and just to the west of Lumpkin right here is where that circulation is and um, anything on correlation coefficient? Yeah, yeah let me check for she's going to be on there and I'm, we're doing some social media push just to let Cody know if you are in the Lumpkin area <laughs> As Cody's saying, about five minutes after uh, Richland, we're talking about 16 minutes after the hour. Preston, about 28 minutes after the hour, potential tornado here. And um, the best advice right now, getting your safe spot, as Cody just told you, you can also check out our live stream on your mobile device or Q1073, the Q. Um, you have to listen to radio to keep you updated. So we want everyone to feel safe, but I don't want you to panic and think, but we want you to be safe and get in your safe spot immediately. We're live streaming on Facebook pages as well and um, at WRBL.com. Also, one live. thing to note, we are really high on the level uh, the radar beam mm -hmm. in Stewart County as well, so we need to take that into consideration too. Yeah. Not sure about these two areas right here. Yeah, it's hard to believe it, so it would be that intense. On yeah. the, the uh, radar beam because the radar shoots directly into the atmosphere and the earth curves, so we do lose some of the the uh, length between the ground and the top of the radar beam the further we get away from the radar. Yeah, I'm not suspecting that to be a very tiring <laughs> supercell, but but again, that, it's got some good circulation with this for yeah, sure. Yeah, right here is the latest circulation. Yeah. Yeah, City okay, of Lumpkin, no, I do that. Yeah, per, thank safe you. spot. Yep.
Here's your cell. You can see it's not that impressive, but it is showing some rotation in Stewart County, especially near just to the north of the city of Lumpkin. So Richland, safe spot. Preston, you doing might as well want to go little ahead little and get your uh, tornado precautions ahead of time in case this tornado does tighten up and move into Webster County. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get you some street level here, Cody. Um, as soon as I can here, let's go back over to this. Go back to, uh, let's go to velocity here real quick. Yeah. And um, so you got, yeah, 0.5 degrees here. And you got Fort Rucker, we got Maxwell. Let's see, we got this Maxwell. Still here. About 30 miles per hour. Yeah, it's still moving pretty, pretty fast here. Let's see. There it is right there. So that let's see what we can. 40 yeah, I'm going to see how close we can get down. That's a Canyon Road area. If you're on the Canyon Road area, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Lane Road, uh, right along Canyon Road here, and that's just to the north and to the west of Highway 27 on Canyon Road, to the west of it here where it connects into Georgia 39 connector. Um, you definitely want to use uh, some uh, safety techniques now and get into your safe shelter. This is coming towards Lumpkin, Georgia right now. Uh, our track, as Cody was just pointing right out, here. is it's moving up. Yeah. Let's right. also give our Barber County store, uh, residents an update as well, because they're still under that tornado yeah, they warning. Still are, it looks like it's getting a little bit smaller. Yeah. If okay. You go down to yeah. Go ahead. I like go back over there. So we'll here we go, Lumpkin. You can see probably in the next uh, five minutes or so, this storm will be on you. But this circulation down here. There is some weak rotation just right here uh, north of Alabama 131, uh, south of Cottonton, uh, just to the nor uh, north east of Oats Town, Oatston, nor uh, just to the north of Baker Hill as well. So I believe that is was Therese. Oh, sorry. Uh, Therese, as you're talking about, yeah. Therese and White Oak. Uh, we still do yeah. have a circulation right here in southern Barber County. This goes until 1:30. Uh, central time, so still about 30 minutes left right. on that one. And that's as well. south of you fall, so you fall residence. You are okay right now. We don't want you to. Yeah, you're you're good right now. But let's fall. get back up to our Stewart County storm. Has the uh, haven't had much reports. Not much chat on this right now. Not much chatter. Um, uh, but that's it. Uh, we had some folks on here, but uh, yeah, you're doing doing good. We yeah. Here's that rotation. You can see still evident of rotation in Stewart County. I'm uh, not as strong as it was earlier, but we still are getting that um, bright pixel, probably still high in the atmosphere. So not sure how low this is to the ground because the radar beam does not reach that far since we are getting it at a very high angle. But Lumpkin, once again, if you just joined us, uh, Lumpkin 206. Oh, we got a new track. A new scan. It looks actually still now getting those bright yeah. values here. Lumpkin. Take your safe spot now, because uh, this is a very tight circulation. It has tightened up, and it also has uh, those brighter pixels indicating very high velocity values right mm -hmm. here. Once again, this, these are uh, outbound velocities, and these are inbound velocities, and that is where this circulation is occurring, just to, just to the west of US 27 and just to the west of Lumpkin. And you can see it's right on top of Lumpkin. If you are in Lumpkin proper, you need to be seeking your safe spot as well. Richland, go ahead and get in your safe spot too. Preston, if you're in Webster County, might as well go ahead and get those precautions uh, taken care of right now because this is moving off towards the east at about 40 miles per hour and will be in Webster County in the city of Preston in about 23 minutes because we just hit uh, or are we about to hit 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time? Uh, if you've been with us, we've had several tornado warnings throughout the day. Lee County, Russell County, uh, Barber County, all were under tornado warnings earlier today or earlier this morning, rather. But now we are tracking this tornado circulation just around Canyon Road that runs into Lumpkin. You can see the little bypass here on US 27, Georgia 39 connector, uh, Trotman Road. All of these areas need to be in your safe spot as well because this is that circulation. Do we, we don't have any confirmation yet still with this, so it's still uh, radar indicated at the moment. Yeah, we're, we're still looking. We'll keep going. I want to ask you, Cody, as we're, we're sitting here, and Carmen's uh, working with that. This is the back of our, our green wall. We'll just kind of go this way so you can see what's happening. What is our, um, we're looking at this. We had uh, one, two, three. 
We had the whole line come in. We had severe thunderstorm warnings this morning. And uh, with this whole line, what it appeared to be was this a lot of gusty winds that came out or outflow winds that's uh, triggered some of these uh, gust nados. It looks like yeah, they we had a, spun up. Yeah, it like it was going to be a straight line event. And then we start to get these kinks and bows, and then these circulation just started to spin up off of it. And this is what this actually is right here over in Stewart County that is moving towards the city of Lumpkin. We just get a little, a little kink in the line, and that gives us a little rotation. Most of them earlier this afternoon, especially in Lee County, looked like a comma. If you, you had the head of the comma, which was the circulation, and then you had the, the stretching line of it was the straight line wind and damaging winds, plus the tornado in it as well. But we only have the circulation on this one uh, from the, uh, the storm that is embedded in this line that has continued to move, move through the Chattahoochee Valley. But right now, Canyon Road moving into Lumpkin, Richland, Randall, Let's get tighter into uh, this area and see if there's any communities here. If you are east of Lumpkin, you need to be in your safe spot as well. This is U.S. Highway, tw Georgia 27 rather, County Road 56, Liberty Street. Let's keep going mm -hmm. and, uh, for, for communities that way. That is uh, West Brook Road. What's this road down here? Yeah, Holder Road. Holder road yeah. So all these communities on Georgia 27, if you live on Georgia 27 or know somebody who lives on Georgia 27, take your tornado precautions. We do have a tornado warning till 2.30, is that correct? Yep. Yes, yes. 2.30 2 for Marion, Stewart, and Webster. Once again, Marion County is extreme southern Marion County, and I believe this circulation should miss Marion, Marion County altogether. Let's widen back out and get a wider view of this. Mm -hmm. And we st we're still waiting on the next velocity scan yeah. for this to update to get a more accurate. So I, uh, this is uh, rather this is two minutes old. So probably this is already approaching the city of Lumpkin and already over the top of Lumpkin by our uh, right. uh, yeah. if scan because this is two minutes old. So this is old data we're looking at. So this is already on top of Lumpkin at the moment. And we put this in motion. I'll step out here. You can see the circulation spun up just as it crossed the Chattahoochee River from Russell County into Stewart County and now we're tracking this just to or right on top of Lumpkin. So if you're in Lumpkin, tornado precaution, lowest level of your home, interior room, bathroom, if you have helmets for the little kids, put that on. That'll give them a little extra uh, safety as uh, this tornado for, continues to move. the little kids for everybody. <laughs> to move east. Get that helmet on everybody, that's for sure. Here we go. Preston also, Richland, but right now this is on top of the Lumpkin community. This is Georgia 27. What is this road right here from, uh, let's go back east. M more. Keep going. What is that road? That is uh, Georgia 520. So anywhere, if you live on Georgia 520 as well, Georgia 27, if, you, if these roads are familiar with you, you need to be in your safe spot. Uh, County Road uh, 83, Dairy Road right there. All these communities in Randall, or all these roads in uh, Randall, if you know them, you need to be in your safe spot as well. People are loving it, Cody. Cody, you're doing a good job. And, all right, uh, let's widen back out. Good. Yep. Go back up this way. Still waiting on that update. Uh, let's check our Barber County storm and see if that rotation has uh, is still with us. Yeah, here. still with us. Still north there. northeast of Baker Hill. Um, so this, if you are in uh, northern Clay County, no warning yet, but be mindful of this circulation. We could get one, a warning to extend. Uh, for you, for you all down there in Rick's place. This is uh, just northern Clay County, but uh, it looks like actually we got it. We have a new uh, velocity scan right yeah, now, and we'll it back. actually looks like it's kind of broadened out Let's and see. weakened yeah, a little yes, bit. Yes. Also, the tornado warning you just saw shrunk a little and updated as well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's widen back out. Sure. Here we go. Circulation just right over Lumpkin, yeah. Richland. Uh, safe spot as well. Even though this circulation has seemed to weaken, we also need to be mindful that it could re-strengthen as it moves off towards the east at about 40 miles per hour here. Uh, we still have that tornado warning for Marion County, but I believe it should ride just right here, just south of Richland and into uh, Webster County. I'm going to ask our, I don't know if our producer, I'll give this to Cody here for a second. Is there any, have we had any uh, more reports of power outages confirmed at all? Okay, what do we have? South, 
South Columbus, and what else do we have in there, guys? Lee Road 240, some damage report there too. And that's where we had that tornado warning earlier that we're looking at. So that's something that we um, are going to have to experience tomorrow morning. Some trees near Beauregard as well. Now that, that you're fine now. So anybody watching here at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning central time around Lee County. Lee County, you're in a clear. We have our producer, Diana Salvatore, too. She's checking in with us as well. And she. Uh, Saying, uh, giving oh, some shout outs to uh, Cody here, doing a good job, and Carmen. There was a TDS. And uh, the good news is, anybody across East Central Alabama, Two you're four. fine now, except down outside of Eufaula now, you're doing good. Everything's moving into Georgia. Uh, that tornado warning will be expiring any moment now. That's coming out of Barber County. Uh, also looking at that circulation, not looking too impressive here, as the last scans have indicated. And Lumpkin, though, in Richland, Certainly a lot of winds, but this is actually south of Lumpkin is where we're looking at that potential tornado warning. And uh, again, it's it's just been uh, just to the west of 27. So it's uh, the reason why uh, Carmen has it like this. She wants to let us know that County Road 84, uh, just south of Randall, the Kimbrough area, and right around 280. Uh, this is south here in Stewart County. We want to make sure that everybody knows to uh, certainly maybe get into a little safe spot here if there could be some winds or damaging winds from the spin up rotating cell or tornado, as we we're indicated here on the radar. It seems like it's still got some circulation to it. Uh, we hate to use the word impressive because nothing's impressive with this, generally speaking, but when it comes to radar, so we understand the Preston area would still be uh, a good idea coming up within the next. 20 minutes. It's seven minutes after the hour local time, around 27 minutes after to get in your safe spot. Kimbrough would be the same thing too. Again, all south of Randall, uh, south of Lumpkin. Lumpkin area though, you could be experiencing some wind, significant wind here. We do have reports around Sanford Road. We said Beauregard, some power outages, possibly some trees down too. If you're in the areas of Lee County, Russell counties, where we had those tornado warnings earlier this morning, please do not go outside. I gotta, I gotta stress this because if there's any trees on power lines, it puts you at a serious risk here. We don't want anybody to be injured. We want you to be safe. We always want to see pictures now. We'll take your reports if you have something going on, but let the professionals get out there. When the light comes up tomorrow, there's going to be no doubt with a windy day can make it even more troubling because wind after these trees have been stressed through this uh, whole line of showers and storms that produced isolated tornadoes this morning could actually create more of a hazard. So that would even include folks here in Stewart County as well. Even uh, Muskogee County had some strong thunderstorms in South Muskogee County, East Muskogee County had severe weather and uh, even some damage reported from the thunderstorms that weren't severe. It doesn't take severe to have damage that was up in Harris County tonight as well. There's been some reports of some minor damage to some satellite dishes, etc. Uh, the Marion Stewart Webster County tornado warning, albeit it's starting to lose characteristics, is what Cody is pointing out in Carmen, not seeing the broad circulation, but seeing more or less what we see some winds now, the threat of some maybe damaging winds with this with some weak rotation. Thunderstorms do rotate by nature. Uh, they, they rotate enough. They do produce, in this case, uh, isolated tornadoes that spin up ahead of the line. And I believe even around Preston, and you know, it looks like you're going to be okay, but just just be mindful of this. You know, do you need to get into a safe spot? I would be sitting there right now and just waiting. We, we don't want to jump ahead into Sumter County because it appears it may weaken. Sumter County residents, uh, we're talking western portions, which would include Plains. Just be mindful of the storm as it continues to uh, move eastward. And as it does move eastward, it has a potential threat of some damaging winds as it rotates here a little bit out. Richland has some heavy rain and some thunderstorms, as you can see. Uh, the one thing with this system, albeit that we weren't expecting the these isolated tornadoes to come up. It's impossible sometimes to forecast this, but the line itself timed out over the last three days. The timing of the system has been right on the money, um, despite the fact you can't be able to determine that, you know, even a day out, sometimes hours out that you're going to have isolated tornadoes. It's impossible. Interesting here, though, the front looks like, guys, look at this, from Thomaston, it kind of broadens out here off to the west, and it takes a sharp little west turn here south of Tuskegee. So, and I'm, a, I'm assuming the back edge of that's frontal induced right there. Uh, I'm not looking at anything synoptic, but it may even be just to the northwest of that possibly. Just, But you could see the nature of how that front is leaning back here, and then you're getting a little bit of shear ahead of that as well.